This money we are looking at favor for possession. If you can pay attention to this message, before the end of this year, you will possess it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the people who have land, they don't have two heads and they have one. A couple of years ago, I took my children that are Australian here in White Air to Parkview to Banana Island. And the reason for doing that was to expose them to the riches in Lagos via estates. And I was showing them one beautiful house to another. Show you These houses that you see, they are all built by human beings like you. you. There are people who are possessors of the earth. Will you want to join them this morning? Yes, sir. Yes. Say, Father God. Father God. May I benefit. From the message, from the message that, you that you have for me today, give me a hearing ear, give me understanding that I may take delivery of my possession. The one you have packaged for me, I shall take possession in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. Favor for possession. Favor for possession. That's the scripture or that's the message we are looking at this morning. Favor for what? Possession. What is possession? Everyone say ownership. Ownership. Whatever you are longing to have, you will have. Amen. Amen. Ownership. You will own land also. Amen. You will own properties. Amen. You will have title to land. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you are going to bequeath to your children, to your children's Amen. children, Amen. you own properties. It's not a nice thing that your time on earth is over and there is nothing of worth that your children can share. It's a cost. Don't you think so? Yes. That you cannot remember what your father has left behind for you. It's not good. It's wonderful that when your time on earth is over, your children gather together to share via the will that you are written. This land belongs to me. That one belongs to me. This one belongs to that one. They will all be joyful and be thankful to God that you were truly a father indeed. Or a mother indeed. When you are favored of the Lord, promotion is your lot. Go and ask Esa. Esther became the owner of the palace as a queen because she was favored of the Lord. Favor, favor is your portion. Psalm 44 and verse 3, Psalm 44 verse 3, our anchor scripture for this message. Favor for possession. That's the message of the, the, the message that we have this morning. Psalm 44 and verse 3. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither their own arms saved them, but thy hand and thy arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadest a favor unto them. The children of Israel never got the land in possession by their own soul. It was not their strength that delivered that land unto them. Because they were more powerful people. People of strength in the land 
before the Lord came there. There were people occupying the land. God drove them away and gave them the land. And you and I know that till this, they have, I mean, they, they, people are still contesting over that land. It was in 1948 that that land was secured by United Nations, given to Bush. I thought there was a time that they were even considering during those days, that they were considering giving Uganda or some parts of East, East Africa to them. God did not give them Uganda. So United Nations couldn't have congregated and said, okay, let us give the Jews uh, East Africa. It's not enough for them. The Lord did not give it to them. That was why that, that idea, that initiative did not see the light of the day. It is what God has ordained for you that will see the light of the day. Because several years ago, several years ago, the possessor of heaven and earth had given the land to the nation of Israel. Canaan was given to Israel as an everlasting possession. Everlasting. That is forever and ever and ever and ever it belongs to the Jews, the land of Canaan. Or the land of Palestine. Genesis 17 and verse 8. Genesis 17 and verse 8. Genesis 17 and verse 8. I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger. All the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. I will be thy God. <laughs> Yeah. May the Lord give unto you an everlasting possession. Yeah. That means it's too small. Yeah. It's when God gives you an everlasting uh, possession. Your children will possess it. Your children's children will possess it. Your children's children children will possess it. Your children's 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 children will possess it. That's what is happening. The land was given to Abraham. From Abraham, given to Isaac. Isaac to who? Jacob. Jacob. The patriarchs. And you can see, up till now, that land is there. The Bible says, for an everlasting possession. Stand up with me. And say, oh! God of Israel, I have seen from the pages of Scripture that you have given the nation of Israel an everlasting possession. Oh God, give me too an everlasting possession. Pray that prayer every minute. Pray that prayer. God will give you an everlasting possession. A possession that will not leave you, that your children will take. spoken in the hearing of the Lord, the Lord will do it for you. Amen. You too will be a possessor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be a possessor of heaven and earth. Amen. Because your God is a possessor of heaven and earth. Amen. He has given you planet earth, you will possess it. Amen. And then to crown it all up, you will possess heaven. Amen. You will not go to hellfire. I say you will not go to hellfire. Amen. You will go to heaven. Amen. Possession. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 1 and verse 17. 
and upon, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. You may be seated. Hallelujah. You will possess your possession. Amen. There are people who have possessions, but they have not possessed them. Some people have properties bequeathed, bequeathed to them by their parents. It's theirs, but the titles are not in their hands. They have not taken delivery of those properties. Contention over the land, over the property. Somewhere around um, in Korodu Road, there was a particular property that the children of that man contested over and over and over. The Lagos State government had to take possession of the land because the children couldn't agree. The man had so many children. What do you call his name? Bobby Benson. Bobby Benson, okay. Was he a musician or what? Yes. He was a musician. Most musicians, they like suffering children all over town. Anywhere they go for administration or for <laughs> performance, <laughs> performance, brother. <laughs> when they go for performance, they just say, uh, they proceed. You know? just, or everywhere. So when the man died, children were coming from the north, from the east, from the west. They were contending over the property. Beautiful property. I can still remember white, beautiful, white, white. With our wide eyes open, that house started deteriorating, going down and down and down. And that place became the house of criminals. All manner of people, because it very palacious, uh, with so many uh, palacious buildings, with so many rooms. I don't know whether it was a hotel, I don't know what, but it was massive. So some people were hibernating there. Nobody to collect rent from them. <laughs> Government had to take it to them. There are people who have possessions, but they have not taken the leave. But today, if you have gotten a possession ordained for you by God, take possession. Yeah. Yeah. Possession. I say possess your possession. It is for you. It's not yet in your hand. Take delivery of it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say take delivery. 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 Take delivery of that which God has ordained for you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Say the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. God gave the children of Israel the land. It was potentially theirs, but practically, physically, it was not in their hands. They had to arrive and go in to take possession. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 23. And of Naphtali, he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with faith. And full with the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. I release upon you the naphtali order of favor. Amen. Be satisfied with favor. Amen. Be satisfied with favor. Amen. Be full of the blessing of the Lord. Amen. I say, be full Amen. of the blessing of the Lord Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And begin to possess. Begin to possess the south, the west, the east, the north, the four corners of Nigeria. Take possession. Take possession. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Because you are favored of the Lord, God will move men in your favor. Amen. I say God will move men in your favor. Amen. Your name will be written in a particular document and be shipped to you. Amen. This thing is for you. This is for you. It's for you. Receive property you didn't bargain for. Yeah. I say receive landed property you did not bargain for. Yeah. I can never forget the testimony given to us in this church of Pastor Day. How many of you know Pastor Day? Yeah. He got landed property you did not bargain for. All the papers, everything worked out and delivered to them. And so, he said, this place is for you. He became a landlord. And before they knew it, he started collecting rent from the people. God will change your story. On the account of favor, on the account of faith. Not on the account of labor. It's good to labor, it's good to labor. Fantastic, it's good to labor. But until labor is combined with favor, you won't see results. You know what I'm saying? So there are people who have labored in this labor, there's nothing to show for it. If you talk of hard work, they work more than you. They work, there are people that are working, really working. But how come others work and there's nothing to show for it? And others work, there's something to show for it. That, the difference is favor. God Almighty added favor to their labor. And so their labor became an outstanding. And people are praising them. Oh, this person is oh, he's commanding results. Oh, this woman is commanding so much results. Oh, this woman is doing this good. This are you the only woman laboring? Are you the only man laboring? God has found you with his favor. Esther was not the only virgin. Neither was she the only prettiest. She was not. But favor located her and she gained ownership of the palace. And for your information, somebody was occupying the chair before. But because God had ordained Esther, she had to be foolish. Today I decree, anybody sitting on your chair must be foolish. Oh, you have not gotten it yet, you have not gotten it. If you have gotten it, your loud, I mean your loudest uh, uh, amen will be blasting all ear. I said, the chair that is your possession, that God has ordained for you, that somebody is sitting on, that somebody is sitting on, that person will be foolish. And I see that person being sent sparking. In the name of Jesus. Sunday, I shared the testimony of one of my sons in the law. He was just a staff assisting one of the agents in one of the blue chip companies here in Lagos. All of a sudden, the man, not that he was sacked, the man woke up and said, It's no more working again, the agent. He said, I'm staying. I said, No, I'm not staying. Ah, no, 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 I'm not staying. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. There was a sense of urgency for him to move out. So they asked him, we have not gotten anybody to take your place. Can't you wait until we get someone? He said, this guy helping me is qualified. Let him assist. That was how my son in the law was brought. And he took over the management as an AGM. Something he never smelled, he would ever get. The jeep that they gave to him as an official this thing, official ride. It is real, it, when I was to dedicate the, the jeep to commission or to pray over the stuff, he did not know how to open the bonnet. I said, open the, the bonnet so I can pour anointing oil and bless. He went and was just looking. He said, Pastor, I can't find it. So I had to be the one to open it. 
Do you know what God is going to do for you? He will give you something that you have to learn. Amen. Somebody is going to have a car that you will be forced to know how to drive. In the name of Jesus, you will change your old car because it's no more befitting. I hope you know there are cars and there are cars. There are jeeps and there are jeeps. <laughs> There are jeeps and there are jeeps. Oh my goodness. There are jeeps and there are jeeps. A couple of years ago, my father in the Lord Bishop David Edeco came to Lagos. That was 1992. Yes, 1992, there about. So we were in Rajioba, that, not Rajioba, New Era. We we're still in New Era. So I came to the church. He was in the church facility and I came around. He said, Apostle Jesus, I said, sir. He said, take me to the house, take me to the house. So, I said, yes, sir. I was the one that came to open the door for him. So he entered. Maybe he felt at first that it was because I wanted to give him respect. So he entered. When we got to the house, for him to come out, we gave him trouble. <laughs> so I had to leave where I was. Oh, driver, let me please. Came and helped him. You know, because I was used to it. I opened the thing. He now came out. He said, I was to He said, change that car. Change this car. Change this car. I said, change this car. It was Nissan Lubet. It was rocket. That same rocket car took me all the way to Niger State. I tell you, rugged, rugged. But this man did not know why I was riding that rugged something. I was building a house in Lagos. It was when I invited him to come and dedicate the place. He now shook his head. It's no wisdom for you to possess the latest Lamborghini and you're in a rented apartment. Of what use? You bring that Lamborghini, the price of that your house will jack up. If it does not jack up, that your landlord is a fake landlord. It's not wise enough to make money from his property. Because if you have money to buy a Lamborghini, you must have money to pay extra rent. Yes. 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 You are the reason why landlord is increasing prices. Because of your foolishness. I was not foolish. I was not foolish. So, the same bishop went to meet one of his sons in the law. He said, you should do something about your life. Why was he telling him? Because this guy, this is son in the law, had about three or four cars in a rented apartment, not far from where we got our own house. And I was visited him one day. And we were asking him, who is the owner of that car? He said, it's my own. They gave him slap. Pua, pua. He said, that one, who is the owner? He said, I'm the one. They gave him pua, pua. the number of cars in the compound, they were slapping and You know what they told him? He said, you are, the, you are part of the people making us to go into stealing. All, all these cars, now only you get them. Now only you get them. He had kept his money, raw cash. You know, an evil man. They love carrying cash. He had put his cash inside his fridge. Do you know that Ambrovas knew that the money was inside the fridge? Again, they opened that fridge. Open, open. They gave him slap, slap, slap. He said, please, okay, I'll open. They opened, saw wrong money. They collected the thing. He said, next time, we will come back. And they went. Let me prophesy over your life. And robbers will not come your heart. Amen. You will not labor for others. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. You 
You will not build an another occupier. Yeah. Yeah. Of your labor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any woman that is wishing you death, that person will go for you. That person will go for you. You will live unto ripe old age. Unto ripe old age. And you will go on vacation. Say, honey, let's go for vacation. Yeah. Let's go for vacation. Yeah. Beloved, I introduce you to, to I introduce you to a land full of milk and honey. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When the Bible talks about milk and honey, it's not that when you reach uh, Canaan, you say, give me milk, and then you drink yeah. milk. It's milk. That is to say, you know, rich, rich blessings. Yes. Milk and honey. Yes. You know, that's what will be a joy. Yeah. I have a fellowship that I've been overseeing for over 20 years in Parkview. When it's time for summer, you don't see many of them in the fellowship. Ah, uh, this one says, oh, I'm going on, so I'm going for, going for summer. I'm going for summer. Oh, I'm going for, for summer. Everybody, summer, 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 summer. Ask your friend, ask your brother, say, when will you go for summer? Ask him. Oh. Ask him and challenge him. Ask him. Ask him. When will you go for your summer? 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 When will you go? When will you go for your summer? Hallelujah. Let me tell you. You're not going for summer should not be because you don't have money. Yes. It should be because you don't want to. Yes. Oh yes. My wife and the children, they have been to Dubai several times to enjoy themselves. Your pastor has not been there. Don't I have money to go? Yeah. Uh, that's not my choice. I don't want it. I have work that I'm doing. If you want to go, go. It's a good thing to, uh, to relax. There are some beds you sleep on, you don't want to wake up. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so sweet. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this in closing. Oh, I don't just feel like stopping. There was a, a, a friend of mine, a pastor too. They built their house uh, in Parkview. And they invited all some few friends, you know, to come and pray over the property so that they can move in. So I went, there was a big, beautiful bus that they carried all of us, and we were going because we didn't know the order and the place the house. I mean, the, the way to the house. So we were going. And this man was stayed next to me. He was looking around the whole party. He said, yeah, man of God. If you live around here, you don't want to die. You don't want to die at all. He said, see place, see, see houses, see road, see road. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ah, you could to get money. Oh. Ah, you, could, you could. I said, my man, it's good. Anybody that tells you that it's not good to have money is just simply crazy. You don't know do nothing. Let him go and choose poverty now. The man said the destruction of the poor is their, is their poverty. When we got in, come and see things. God will bless you too. I said, God will bless you too. My Father will bless you too. Possessor of heaven and earth will make you a possessor. You may be seated. The possessor of heaven and earth will make you a possessor. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you prophetically. That you will possess the gates of your enemy. Yeah. That is to say, your enemy.
enemies own that property, but you buy it over. Amen. They will give it to you Amen. at cheap price. Amen. 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 Cheap price. Amen. Plague will come over their life and they will look for people to buy. Amen. Do you know there are properties and there are properties? When there is a sense of urgency, they will sell it. He will give you this info. You don't know. Please listen, listen, listen. 2023 is around the corner. If you are into real estate, get ready to buy properties. Because some politicians that are foolish, that's the time to sell properties to contest election. A property worth 50 million, they can give it to you for 10 million. Because they need money, sharp, 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 to contest election. Have I given an info now? Will you not pray to have up to 10 million, 5 million before 2020? Stand up, let me release this video. Maradugu Zilia, Magayayaya, Ele Ruto Zogilia. Opportunity is coming your way. Opportunity is coming your way. To prepare for that opportunity. Amen. May you be wise to save towards the opportunity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Between now and 2023, you will have nothing less than 10 million in your account. Amen. So that when the politicians are selling their properties, you will buy so cheap. my documents. I just bought this property. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. Glory be to God. You can't be in Great House Monday Church and you don't have houses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must have your own place. When your stay in a landlord's house is overstretched, that landlord is permitted to harass you. Until the landlord harasses you, you may not move out. My wife and I were harassed by the landlord. Any little say, oh. My friend came all the way to come and fetch water because there was no water in his house. After we fetched water, he was upstairs. He looked at me, Mr. Wade. I said, yes, sir. For that landlord. Yes, sir. He said, who be that man? Who be that man? I said, it's my friend. He came for house fellowship and he decided to fetch water. Oh. Without permission, who, this is my house. I said, sir, I also, also fetch water from his place when there's no uh, water here. He said, he me. This is my house. Oh. Ah, that my friend. He used to come here sometimes, Pastor Omole. He poured that water away. He said, me too, I'm a landlord here in Lagos. What are you talking about? Ordinary water, are you? He said, no, this is my house. I do whatever I want to do in my house. And the landlord is true. He is telling the truth. Is that not his house? Yes. Then the next one, the next time, my wife was pounding yell for me as a baby man. <laughs> pounding yell for me. Downstairs, 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 they were living upstairs, we were living downstairs. And then the landlord came. Mrs. <laughs> Sobit, what do you think I've been? They said, I'm coming here. In my house. Yeah. You want to spoil my house for me? The man stressed us, harassed us. When we started building our place, we didn't even wait until the whole place is painted. We just painted some things. We were rushed out to our place. And I had put uh, the burglary on the side. I said I was going to remove the burglary. When I came in, there was no burglary. I was the one that put it. So he begged me. He said, I, I shouldn't remove the burglary. He would pay me, you know, because it will affect the building. I said, OK, if you are ready, no problem, you pay me. 
the day we agreed on, he brought the money to my new house. When he came, he looked around. He looked here. He said, ah, Mr. Obe, money enter here, money enter here. Money enter, money enter. Because in his own house, there was nothing like terrazzo, there was nothing like tiling, it was just cement, uh, plastic. that was why he was afraid. The pounding yam on a something will, will spoil the cement and the thing will collapse. That was the reason. But we have moved. Say, me too, I will move. I will move. I will move. I will move. I say, you will move. In the name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. Move to the place of your inheritance. Move to the place of your inheritance. In the name of Jesus. In closing, pick up this scripture. And then we close. Hallelujah. Says concerning Caleb. Numbers 13, verse 30. Numbers 13, 30. Numbers 13, 30. Numbers 13, 30. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once. And possess it, for we are well able to overcome. Like Caleb, I'm talking to you now. Like Caleb, I'm talking to you now. Let us go up and possess our possession. Why? Because we are well able. We are well able. In Psalm 2, verse 8. We will pray for that scripture. Let's stand up now. Stand up now. Stand up now. Everybody stand up now. Psalm 2 verse 8. See what the Bible says. God is saying, ask. I mean, are we there? Psalm 2 verse 1. Loudly, let's go. Ask of me, and I shall give thee that for your I don't want you to dream that your property can only come from Nigeria. You are limiting yourself. Yes, sir. Automost parts of the earth. Yes, sir. You can own property in the US. Yes, sir. In Norway. Yes, sir. All over the world. If you know the value of this scripture, you will not limit God by saying, I'm just believing God. If you can give me land in my village, I will, I will be okay. Yeah! Yeah! Land in your village. Do you know the worth? Even if you build the most fantastic building in that your village, it doesn't have value. The value of your house is determined by the location. This house, put it, this place that we are in, put it on Letty Axis. And you will see. The houses in Banana Island, perfume. Even if it's a bungalow, that bungalow is much more than everything that we put on this complex. You know why? Location. Environment. I decree over your life now. You will possess your possession. I ask God on your behalf. I ask God on your behalf that you too, you possess your possession. May the Lord give you the hidden for your inheritance. May the Lord give you landed property all over the world. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to be in America to have land in America or to have property in America. In 2014, my friend and I, you know, it's a pastor, senior pastor in Redeem, were invited to U.S. Minnesota to give uh, a word to the brethren over there. And he was telling me that several years ago, 
he would have stayed in the U.S. He would have stayed in the U.S. Because when he got there, his friends, everybody said, ah, what are you going to Nigeria to do? Stay here, stay here. He said he was not staying. That God has not told him to come to America. So he went back to Nigeria. He said, sir, I fly to U.S. at any time I want. You know why? He has great investment in America. But he's here in Nigeria. Those ones that are living there, they are slaving. They don't even have any property, so to say. But this one is here in Nigeria. He has properties that they are paying him rent in dollars in America. What am I saying to you this morning? You may be in Igondu. You have property in choice in there. Neither is he a respecter of places. I decree over your land now. Possess. 